if you are a mom and you have a bunch of really young children and you're feeling overwhelmed and sometimes you find yourself thinking, why can't I manage this better? Well, hopefully this video can provide you some tips and words of encouragement that can help you a little bit. your first time watching a video of mine. My name is Kenzie. I'm a wife, mother, and stepmother, and I named my channel The Overnight Mom because when I got married to my husband, I instantly became a stepmom, and then I got pregnant right away, and it's been back to back to back. I have had to grow a lot in learning how to manage multiple, very young, very demanding, like needing things, children. <laughs> so, um, and I love them all so much. And motherhood is definitely not without its challenges, for sure. But uh, through talking to other moms, wiser than I am, more experienced than I am, and learning their tips, I have been able to implement some things that have made an instrumental difference in my life and the life of my family for the first few years, especially after having my first uh, newborn baby. I couldn't figure out how people did anything. I found myself constantly trying to clean, but how do you clean when you need rest? And how do you do that when your child needs you to watch them and make sure they're safe and feed them and all these different things? I had many days of frustration because I thought, I can't even go put the laundry in my washing machine because that would require me to be away from my multiple little ones who could then get into something that they shouldn't. And it was just very hard for me to, to juggle it. So, so what I finally began to learn, and this is not a clever rhyming phrase or anything, but I tell myself, I repeat this to myself often, go slow. And with them, meaning your children. I told you, it's not really clever. Maybe there's something better for it. But I realized what I was trying to do is separate out my time with my children from my daily household homemaking tasks as if they were two separate things. Um, because my children were too young to load the dishwasher. They were too young to sweep the floors and all these things. So what I finally realized I had to do was include them with me. Even if that meant going slower. Sure, I could get things done about a thousand times faster if it was just me going around the house cleaning. But if I go slow and I bring them in, Invite them into my journey of homemaking. For the home is not just mine to keep it, it is ours as a family. So some more tangible examples of this are um, in the newborn years where they're still super young, I would often carry the baby on me in you know one of those baby carriers. And yes, it was less comfortable than cleaning and doing things on my own. But it was a way that I could have my baby right with me. They're content and happy there and I'm able to still keep things moving a little bit. Um, I would put them in a pack and play and I would wheel that pack and play everywhere I went um, so that way you know they could play independently in the kitchen in the pack and play and and stuff like that. So um, doing things like that where they're included with you but I actually thought the newborn phase was significantly easier than when they start to be more mobile and walking and getting into more things. And as much as you can baby-proof your house, if you're a mom, you know they always find something somehow. They're always exploring, trying new things, and getting into stuff that maybe they shouldn't. And so you always have to be watching and, and super, super careful. So I was trying to get my children to like stay in one room and do something, you know, while I, in the room over, maybe washed the dishes or um, tidied up or whatever it is. And I couldn't understand why they kept wanting to talk to me or they kept wanting to play with me or they kept wanting to do things with me. And I thought, if I were to answer every request that they had, I would never get anything done and I need to get these things. I need to be able to cook. I need to be able to have, you know, some cleaning and maintenance, things like upkeeping the house. And so I didn't understand what I was doing wrong. So again, if you are feeling this way, that you just can't understand why you feel like you're not getting a break and you can't even manage the regular daily tasks because you have to be there caring for the children, or even if you're finding that when you do have free time, you're spending it 
cleaning your home and doing housemaking things instead of really having a true rest um, and a true free time, then that can be something to implement. If you don't get hung up on the fact that you could do it faster yourself, you could do it more thoroughly yourself, maybe in, a, in different situations, um, if you can get past that, and another good way to look at it is like drops in the bucket. And that's what I had to think of when it came to running errands. I would save all of my errands for when I would have time where somebody else was able to watch my children. That was supposed to be the time for me to rest and recharge and be ready to come back and serve my family. But what would happen is I was getting all my errands done and I'd come back feeling drained and exhausted and grumpy. So even though it seems a little counterintuitive, now I what I try to do is make a list you know, of all the errands I need to run, places I need to go, and just extend my time frames because it may go slower. It may take me all week each day doing one little errand of a place I have to go uh, because I'm bringing a bunch of little ones with me who need loaded and unloaded into car seats and who need to go to the bathroom a million times and all kinds of things. But at least it's getting done, and then that way, if I am blessed to have some time to myself, I don't have to use that precious time to do general household maintenance and, and stuff like that. I can really take a true rest. That way, I'm better able to love and to serve my family at home. So I hope that there's something helpful in what I shared today for you. Um, I know it's just really a tough season. I also try to remind myself of that, like, this is a season. Because sometimes I feel so alone because I'll talk to other moms and I feel like they're not going through quite what I'm going through. But then again, their children are older now. They're not right in the thick of it the way I am. And one day all my little ones will be older and, you know, I just think life goes by so fast. But when we're in the thick of it like we are now, and it certainly doesn't seem that way. We can feel so exhausted and drained. But I do really hope that through my channel I can share some more tips to moms like me who are really in the thick of it right now, who want to love and serve their families well, and to um, just truly embrace this God-given vocation that we have as a mom and a wife too. So God bless you all, and I look forward to talking to you in a future video. Bye. Thank you.